Hi, friend. Glad to see you on my channel. Here I am talking about the latest and high profile show business news. I will be very pleased if you subscribe to my channel. Bernard Kalb, 1922 to 2023, journalist for CBS News, CNN. Bernard Kalb was a journalist for many years at outlets including CBS News and CNN. Died. January 8, 2023. Details of death. Died at his home in North Bethesda, Maryland after a fall at the age of 100. We invite you to share condolences for Bernard Kalb in our guest book, A Lifetime of Journalism. After serving in the U.S. Army during World War II, Kalb built his career as a foreign correspondent, first writing for the New York Times. He joined CBS News in 1962, continuing to report from overseas for several years before becoming an anchor for CBS Morning News in 1970. Kalb moved to NBC News in 1980, covering the U.S. State Department among other topics. In an unusual move, he was appointed Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs in 1984 by President Ronald Reagan, 1911-2004. The first person to go from covering the State Department to serving as its spokesperson, Kalb did not remain in the position long, resigning in 1986. In 1992, Kalb became the founding anchor of CNN's Reliable Sources, analyzing media coverage of major news stories. He remained with CNN until 1998. He was the older brother of journalist Marvin Kalb. Adolfo Kaminsky, 1925-2023, forger who saved lives in the Holocaust Holocaust hero and native of Argentina, Kaminsky grew up in France after moving there with his parents as a child. He began working in a dry cleaner's shop that dyed clothing as a young man, and it was there that he learned the skills that would make him invaluable to the French resistance. He had professional expertise in removing ink stains, which included ink on paper. Kaminsky collaborated with the resistance to falsify documents by removing Jewish-sounding names and replacing them with names that would not catch the attention of Nazis. Kaminsky is believed to have created life-saving documents for at least 10,000 people. After the war, he continued to work as a forger for many years, including falsifying ID papers for American draft dodgers during the Vietnam War. Kaminsky gave up forgery in later years in favor of working as a photographer. Notable quote, I saved lives because I can't deal with unnecessary deaths, I just can't. All humans are equal, whatever their origins, their beliefs, their skin color. There are no superiors, no inferiors. That is not acceptable for me. From a 2016 interview for the New York Times. Lynette Hardaway was one half of the duo Diamond and Silk, whose conservative political commentary was popular on YouTube and Fox News. Died. January 9, 2023. Death details. Died at her home in North Carolina at age 51. We invite you to express your condolences to Lynette Hardaway in our guest book. Diamond and Silk. Hardaway formed the group Diamond and Silk with her sister, Rochelle Hardaway Richardson. Hardaway was Diamond, and Richardson was Silk. They began their YouTube channel in 2015, initially posting videos to draw attention to police brutality, but soon switched to videos in support of President Donald Trump's candidacy. They caught the attention of the Trump campaign and appeared on stage with the future president at some rallies. As their popularity grew, Diamond and Silk frequently appeared on Fox News, and in 2018 they launched their own show on Fox Nation. Their show was cancelled in 2020 after they suggested that COVID data had been tampered with to make the president look bad. They soon switched to Newsmax and launched their show, Diamond and Silk Crystal Clear. The pair made headlines when they circulated a message from Facebook claiming that their content was unsafe for the community. The incident prompted the sisters to testify at a congressional hearing on social Gordy Harmon, 1943-2023, singer with The Whispers. Gordy Harmon was the singer of the R&B band The Whispers, known for such hits as, Seems Like I Gotta Do Wrong. 
Died. January 5, 2023. Death details. Died in his Los Angeles home in his sleep at age 79. Harmon co-founded the band The Whispers in 1963 in the Watts area of Los Angeles. The band began hitting the R&B charts in the late 1960s, beginning with the song, The Time Will Come, in 1969. In 1970, Seems Like I Gotta Do Wrong, was one of R&B's top 10 hits and had modest radio success. Other early 1970s hits for The Whispers included, Your Love Is So Doggone Good, and I Only Meant To Wet My Feet. Harmon left The Whispers in 1973 after a laryngeal injury, and they continued their career with bigger hits, including, And The Beat Goes On, and, Rock Steady. The Whispers were inducted into the R&B Music Hall of Fame in 2014. In 2005, the musicians were presented with the Governor's Award, 